Welcome to Tamar Bowling Video Ball Reviews. Thanks to Greg Bichta and the Perfect Aim Pro Shop for drilling our test equipment. Today we are testing the new Storm Matchup and Matchup Pearl. Testing the Matchup is Guy Poor, a high speed cranker. Testing the Matchup Pearl is Tamar Obaga, a medium speed lefty tweener. Our test pattern is a 41 foot medium house shot. The first impressions, it's been a long time since I found a storm ball that is quote lower end that actually plays the way I want it to, an actual ball down. The matchup pearl is really a ball down, that's a great thing in my book. The matchup solid was just about the same thing but a little stronger and more defined motion with, with the solid cover stock. In terms of value, we gave both the matchup and the matchup pearl a 9 out of 10. These new Storm Balls easily offer strong value with entry level pricing and very good performance. Overall, we gave the matchup an 8 out of 10 and the matchup pearl an 8.5 out of 10. These two Storm Balls sum up what entry level balls can be. Ultimately, they may be a bit much for a true novice but fit the bill nicely for more experienced bowlers when you want step down balls or if dealing with medium to lower volume patterns. Guy tested the matchup solid and he just simply chewed up the pocket with his ball. I realize the vast majority of us don't have that kind of hand, but if you watch closely, you can pick up the characteristics of the ball. When Storm, what Storm did was release this ball with a 1500 grit polished out of box finish. And this offers a nice shelf appeal, but ultimately completely distinguishes this matchup from the previous match with its 2000 grit sanded out of box finish. The match was kind of a what I would call a specialty ball for tournament bowlers because it offered the, the rare ball that really provided great front to back control of the reaction. The matchup finish makes it more of a side to side ball. I don't honestly know if you sanded the matchup if it would turn into the match, but this is one that will be easier to throw for many people on your typical house shot. It will obviously store more energy and have a nice readable but strong motion down lane. I personally tested the matchup Pearl, so for me the lefty tweener, I love the fact that this is the first storm ball since the lights out that I can personally control front to back rather than side to side. I was able to more or less keep the ball in front of me with a simple 12 at the arrows to 7 at the break point type of look. When I can be there, my life is good. Don't be deceived, many video reviews cut out the bad shots. I threw 8 of 9 strikes straight out of the gate on this fresh shot, it was so easy to throw. It has easy length as you would expect with a nice muted but strong arc to the pocket. I totally loved it because I carried everything. I had an opportunity to test it on a lower volume pattern with wooden back ends and it did remind me how aggressive storm covers are. The thing moved more than I thought it would in that case. In the end, the storm matchup and matchup pearl sell themselves. They are inexpensive, high performing, and easily could suffice as a one-two punch for most house conditions. Both Guy and I would prefer to knock that polish off with maybe a light 4000 grit pad to get rid of some of that over-under, but we could easily see these balls are a nice addition to the lineup. In terms of the misses, for Guy with the matchup solid, he could create a little over-under due to that factory shine. It was so strong he would see over at times. Then he would just force it a touch and then experience under. All I can say is take that shine off. For me, with the Storm Matchup Pearl, if I grabbed it, I could make it over hook. I also found that as pattern broke down, this oil tends to create a carry down type of look. And that meant that this ball would skid if I was in, but was touchy if I got too direct. And this seems to be a common trap with more modern self-preserving oils. Like I said before, crack that out of box shine and it'll smooth things out just the right amount. Thank you for watching Tamar Bowling Video Ball Reviews.